hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm jenny and today we're going to be doing baking with jenny baking cupcakes the easy way because I'm no baker here I'm no chef I'm none of that so she's gonna be our little helper Betty so let's get on with this video so some things will be needed so we're gonna be needing our pre-made cake mix Betty some sprinkles to top off some baking cups some pre-made frosting, and a whisk, a fork, a mixing bowl, some milk, and some vegetable oil or olive oil. This is olive oil, but it works the same. And in the instructions in the back, this is add water, but we're gonna add milk because it tastes better with milk. Trust me, I've done it before. We're gonna also be needing three eggs. I'm gonna start by opening this. Oh my god, this this smells exactly like Nesquik when you put it in the milk. Exactly like that. So we are going to be dumping this in the mixing bowl. Oh, oh my god, look at that mess. Oh no. I'll be adding three eggs and half a cup of vegetable oil. I'm going to be using measuring cups to do this and then mix them. So now we're gonna do one half of oil. So we're just gonna be dumping it like that. And then it says one fourth of milk. So you can use any milk. I'm simply gonna be using reduced fat 2%. I was gonna use almond milk, but I've never tried it with almond milk and I'm not trying to mess up the cupcakes. So that's one cup. Oh my gosh, that's one cup. And this is one fourth. So now that I have everything in the mixing bowl, I'm going to be using a whisk. You can use a fork though. And I'm going to be just mixing it all together. So as you see, I have finished mixing and it's really simple. This is all it takes. It's literally less than five minutes. And yeah, so now we'll be preheating the oven to... And start putting the baking cups in the baking sheet. So I'm gonna start. Now it's preheating. Now we wait, and while I wait, I'm gonna just begin getting the pan and. I'll be getting the blue one too. I'm just adding two scoops in each. So I'm filling the rest of the cups off camera. Get back to you guys. It preheated, so we're gonna put them in the oven now. I'm gonna 
that's it. We're gonna be leaving them inside for 15 minutes and wait till they rise. So, now we wait. So since we bought um, pre-made frosting, so we can it ourselves because we're lazy, or at least I am. Um, we're gonna just make it, give it a little kick, I guess. Yum, it's yummy. So I'm gonna fold the whipping cream into the frosting so it makes it more light and airy um, to the frosting because I don't really like frosting that much on cupcakes, but let's see if this makes a better cupcake than usual cupcakes. So yeah, we're gonna get a um, medium mixing bowl and we're gonna use a baking spatula to fold in the frosting with the, the whipping cream so i'm just a little bit of that a little more oh my gosh oh my gosh i'm just gonna get just a little bit of that like that and just see if this See what happens. If it doesn't hold, then I'm not gonna be able to use this. So, turns out it does work. It's not too jerky, or it kind of is. Isn't. And tastes pretty good too. So I'm just gonna continue doing this with the rest of the pre-made frosting and adding a little bit, not too much, because it might be too watery and this tends to melt fast. So you just work my way in. So like that. It's like more fluffy, if you guys notice, it's turning out to be a little more fluffy. It's way fluffier than this like thick like paste, like doo doo. <laughs> chocolate is chocolate. Okay, that's like really good. So now that we have made our frosting, I'm gonna be getting the pipe bag. And this is very unnecessary. You can just buy this and top it off with a spoon directly to the cupcake. So this is not needed. This is why I didn't list it in the things that you need. It's a piping bag. And I'm gonna cut it and place a tip. And yeah. So I have like a lot of tips, as you see. I'll be placing a tip all the way. And now I will cut the tip. Cut the tip enough so that the metal baking tip is able to go through and pop out. Pop it's like exactly like this. And now we're gonna just kind of roll it on the side to be able to place the frosting in this. So I'll be placing it in a cup just like that and so it's easier just to um, fill in the bag with the frosting. This is exactly how it should be looking and I'm gonna just leave it in its cup. Leave it in the cup or you can just leave it like lying down in the fridge so that it doesn't, the whip, since there's whipping cream in it, it, we don't want it to get watery. You put it in the freezer if you want or in the fridge so yeah, do that it seems like they're ready so I'm gonna pull them out of the oven so 
so what I'm gonna do now is um, have a toothpick and I'm gonna pick through them. Since it didn't stick on the toothpick, that means they're ready and now we have to wait to let them chill for a bit and then we can frost and do the decorating and all the fun stuff. So the um, cupcakes have chilled and this is cold. So yeah, uh, now we're gonna start frosting our cupcakes. So I don't know why it looks like this and some look like this, but they all come in shapes and sizes. So we're gonna start from the top this and then start from the center oh my god so that's our first one i hate how it turned out oh my gosh so okay let's do this with two hands so we're gonna start in the middle Okay, this one is a bit better. I'm gonna do them all differently. Now I'll be placing garnishes on the cupcakes. Just like raspberries on top of the zigzag ones. So just some sun tips and then. And now some sprinkles. I'm just gonna get a little put a bunch and then just put sprinkles on each and every one of them. Oh my god. Okay, that should do it. Look at these cupcakes! Whoa, these look so cute and delicious. So that is it guys. These are how our cupcakes came out. Um, they're not the best, but I'm sure they will taste delicious. And they were made with a lot of love, so you can recreate this. And it's really simple and easy. Okay guys, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below because why not? So, bye guys!